Dozens upon dozens of investigators, both police and fire, had a hand in putting Lewis Taylor behind bars. For one of them, the experience and the evidence behind it was life-changing. Not in your sides, Maggie Vespa joins us live from the site of that horrendous historic blaze with his story. That's right. Within hours of that first spark, investigators had labeled this fire at arson and police operating on that determination had hauled in their suspect. But for one TPD detective who would later spend countless hours inside that building, the science behind this all consuming fire all but consumed him. David Smith was a rookie juvenile detective when he took on the tail end of the Lewis Taylor interrogation, operating on a theory fed to him by Tucson Fire. I didn't know why, and quite frankly, at that point, if I was told why, I probably wouldn't have understood it anyway. But in the weeks, months, and years that followed, Smith's fascination with fire science flared. I spent many, many hours at the Pioneer Hotel becoming acquainted with it. All those hours led to a career as an arson and bomb squad detective. It wasn't until the early 90s before advances in the field came pouring in, debunking many old investigative theories such as the sprawling or chipping of concrete. We were told that that was indicative of my gasoline poured there. Instead, it is blown up, if you will, is pitted and pocked as a result of the moisture in the concrete turning to steam. The type of tactics used, said Smith, when combing through the pioneer's ashes. Decades later, as a private fire investigator, he thinks about that blaze frequently. And I do a lot of pro bono cases. I do a lot of cases free, um, uh, attempting to uh, rectify maybe some of these uh, uh, situations that are, that are still occurring. Hoping to prevent another hasty conviction in what he says will never be an exact science. Now, with all this new information, you might think that Taylor has a pretty good case against the county, but I spoke earlier today on the phone to his attorney, Mike Picaretta, who says technically, yes, his client could sue the county, but he says it would be an incredibly hard case to win. They would all but have to prove investigators knowingly and intentionally hid or altered evidence just to get that conviction. For now, live in downtown Tucson, I'm Maggie Vespa, KGUN 9 on your side. Thank you, Maggie.